ಹಾಯ್ ಹಲೋ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ರೇವಾ ಪದವಿ ವಿಶೇಷ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮಕ್ಕೆ ಸ್ವಾಗತ ನಾನು ರಮ್ಯಾ ರಾಜ್ಯದ ಪ್ರತಿಷ್ಠಿತ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಿಟಿಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದಾದ ರೇವಾ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಿಟಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಈಗ ಏಳನೇ ಘಟಿಕೋತ್ಸವದ ಸಂಭ್ರಮ ಅತ್ಯಂತ ವರ್ಣರಂಜಿತವಾಗಿದ್ದ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮ ಹೇಗ್ ನಡೀತು ಹಾಗೂ ರೇವಾ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಿಟಿಯ ರುವಾರಿ ಪಿ ಶ್ಯಾಮರಾಜು ಅವರು ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳಿಗೆ ಏನ್ ಸಂದೇಶವನ್ನ ಕೊಟ್ಟರು ನೋಡ್ಕೊಂಡು ಬರೋಣ ಬನ್ನಿ This is the first batch that graduates with a hybrid model of learning and I congratulate each, each of you for not only your hard work but patience and determination during this tough period of your life. The future as I see is challenging but bright for you. The world has taken a new definition and technology has moved faster. Your future will be different in this post-pandemic age. But you will have, he will be creating a new world. So think of the road ahead with courage and we at Reva are very helpful, hopeful that you will make a difference in this new universe. I am sure Reva University, backed by its faculty and team, has done their part to shape your future. During this significant seventh congregation of Reva, my entire team joins me as I welcome our Honorable Governor, Sri Tawar Chenji, who is also the visitor of Reva University to this remarkable occasion. Honorable Governor of Karnataka, Sri Tawar Chand, has an illustrious career which will inspire our youngsters. Being the first person serving as the Governor of Karnataka from Madhya Pradesh, Sri Tawar Chandji, the 19th Governor of Karnataka, prior to being the Governor of Karnataka, Sri Tawar Chandji was the member of the Rajya Sabha upper house of Indian Parliament representing the state of Madhya Pradesh. He was awarded an honorary doctorate by the Dr. B. R. Ambedkar University of Social Science. He formerly represented Shajapur in the lower house of Indian Parliament, Lok Sabha from 1996 to 2009. He also served as the Union Minister for Social Justice and Empowerment in our Prime Minister Modi's second cabinet. Honorable Governor Sri Tawar Chanji, I, on behalf of the entire Reva family, welcome you today to the seventh annual convocation of Reva University. <coughs> our chief guest for today is our former President of India, Sri Venkaya Naidu Garu. He is very, he is very dear to us. He is our pride of India and an inspiration to the youth of the country. One of the popular leaders of the BJP, he was elected as a member of the Rajya Sabha from Karnataka in 1998. He was re-elected twice in 2004 and 2010 from Karnataka. A moment of pride for us, sir at the seventh convocation this year has been organized in the month of the Rajochava of Karnataka and 
We are immensely happy to have you with us in this remarkable year of Reva, a brilliant orator, a man who uh, has always championed the cause of farmers, rural people, and development of the backward areas. Sri Venkaya Naidu Garu has been a great inspiration to us. For you students, he was a great student leader and continu continues to be the illustrious political figure. His active involvement in the political and social activities from a very young age, the selfish, self, selfless sacrifice and principled politics right from the days of the freedom struggle is a great learning for, for you, the youth of Reva. Words will not be enough to trace the four decades of Sri Venkaya Naidu Garu's public life. It is indeed our honor and privilege to have you as our chief guest for our seventh annual convocation of 22, and I extend warm welcome to you and uh, look forward to your address, sir. A very, warm, a very warm welcome to all the trustees who unceasingly support quite but impactful presence amidst us, constantly guides and supports us in all initiatives that we take at Reva. I am happy, ha happy that on the seventh annual convocation of Reva University, we have Sri Umesh Raju joining us as the pro-chancellor of the university, and we wish him all the best and welcome him specially. The Reva EIIC has always been striving hard to ensure that we have a very strong industry academia connect and also involve our students in all the new in innovative ideas, entrepreneurships, and in technology advancements. The students have joined, programmed a ro robot and named it Convo. The robot has been placed here and she would, la would, la would also like to welcome you officially. Dear dignitaries on and off the stage, welcome you all to Temple of Learning Riva University. Dear students, I am Convo. I also a product of Riva University. Yes, teachers of Riva University have contributed to make you what you are today and students of Riva University have made me what I am today. Thank you, Chancellor Sir, for the opportunity. I am glad to join you all on this seventh convocation of Riva University. Finally you all made it. It's the time to celebrate all the hard work that led to joyful occasion. May your graduation be the beginning of many more wonderful achievements in your life. Chasing a dream requires effort, passion and hard work. Keep it up and continue to strive. Riva University and your parents congratulate you and wish you best of luck for all your future endeavors. Thank you. Jay Hin. Jay Rewa. I also extend a warm welcome to the Vice Chancellor of uh, Renova University, Dr. M. Dhananjaya, the Registrar of the University, Dr. N. Ramesh, and the Pro Vice Chancellors of Dr. B. Radhar and Dr. Vidya Shetty to the convocation. I also welcome all the deans and directors of the Reva family. A warm welcome to all our patrons who have with us, with their generosity, instituted many gold medals as a token of appreciation to our young achievers. I also take pleasure in welcoming all parents who have been our greatest strength and support in this journey. I warmly welcome all our dear graduating students of batch 2022. An extended welcome to the press and media who have been with us on our journey always. I also extend a warm welcome to all the staff mem members of Reva family. We are growing as a young university and from this year we move towards the next goal to grow as a social impact of university. This is with pride that I would like to share with our distinguished guests that we have adopted four of the SDGs in alignment with our Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi's silent role in achieving India's goals towards the United Nations Agenda for 2030. As part of Reva University's contribution towards 
SDG, we have had a series of efforts in the form of Jagriti, Abhiruddhi, adoption of villages and their development, Abhivekti towards support of K-12 education, Vanamahochava, towards sustaining the climate, Pragna towards civic responsibility, Naya Darshana towards empowering women lawyers, Samavesha towards in inclusivity of the transgender, and Panchavatram towards spreading the Indian knowledge system through our rich Indian dance and heritage across the globe. With the partnership and support of all our stakeholders who have trusted us in the last decade of our journey, we have been able to achieve all, all of this. We hope to continue the similar fashion by earning a good name and reputation by imparting quality education to students. I once again wish all the graduates all, uh, all the best for their future and look forward to hearing from you about your personal growth and professional success as the alumni of the great university. Thank you. God bless you. Sumaru, yen to Savira Jendra opus titiali, Nalku Savira the Arnura Muat Muru with Yartigalike, Madi Dantaha Padavi Pradhana Jalak Hegitu, Nivenudi. Honorable Chancellor of Reva University, I request your good self to declare the convocation open. I declare open the convocation. This convocation of Reva University has been called to confer the degree to the candidates who have passed the respective examinations held for the purpose and have been certified to the worthy of the same. Let the candidates be now presented. I call upon the names of the PhD scholars. Please come to the dais. Proceed to the Honorable Governor. Receive the certificates and return to your seats. Mr. Ajay Bhaskar V. Reddy from Civil Engineering. By virtue of the authority vested in me as the Chancellor of Reva University, I admit the candidates present to the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Master of Technology, Business Administration, Computer Science Applications, Commerce Arts and Humanities, and Social Science Performing Arts and Index Studies, Law, Bachelor of Technology. Srimati Rukmani Shamaraju Memorial Gold Medal.
ರೇವಾದಲ್ಲಿ ಏಳನೇ ಘಟಿಕೋತ್ಸವದಲ್ಲಿ ರಾಜ್ಯದ ಘನತೆ ವೆತ್ತ ರಾಜ್ಯಪಾಲರು ಹಾಗೂ ಮಾಜಿ ಉಪರಾಷ್ಟ್ರಪತಿಗಳು ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳಿಗೆ ಏನ್ ಸಂದೇಶ ಕೊಟ್ಟರು ನೋಡ್ಕೊಂಡು ಬರೋಣ ಬನ್ನಿ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕದ ಗೌರವಾನ್ವಿತ ರಾಜ್ಯಪಾಲರು ಶ್ರೀ ಥವರ್ಚಂದ್ ಗೆಹ್ಲೋಟ್ ಅವರೇ ರೇವಾ ವಿಶ್ವವಿದ್ಯಾಲಯ ಕುಲಪತಿ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಶ್ಯಾಮರಾಜ್ ಅವರೇ ರೇವಾ ವಿಶ್ವವಿದ್ಯಾಲಯದ ಕುಲಪತಿ ಶ್ರೀ ಉಮೇಶ್ ರಾಜ್ ಅವರೇ ರೇವಾ ವಿಶ್ವವಿದ್ಯಾಲಯ ಉಪ ಕುಲಪತಿ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಧನಂಜಯ್ ಅವರೇ ನಿಮ್ಮೆಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ರೇವಾ ವಿಶ್ವವಿದ್ಯಾಲಯದ ಏಳನೇ ಘಟಿಕೋತ್ಸವದಲ್ಲಿ ಭಾಗವಹಿಸಲು ನನಗೆ ತುಂಬ ಸಂತೋಷವಾಗಿದೆ ಇಂದು ನಾನು ಎಲ್ಲ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳನ್ನು ಅಭಿನಂದಿಸುತ್ತೇನೆ ಮತ್ತು ನಿಮ್ಮ ಭವಿಷ್ಯದ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ನಿಮಗೆ ನನ್ನ ಶುಭಾಶಯಗಳನ್ನು ತಿಳಿಸುತ್ತೇನೆ ಮೈ ಡಿಯರ್ ಯಂಗ್ಸ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ಗ್ರ್ಯಾಜುಯೇಟೆಡ್ ಟುಡೇ ಗ್ಯಾಸ್ ಮೆಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಫ್ಯಾಕಲ್ಟಿ ಪೇರೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ ಮೈ ಡಿಯರ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ I am pleased to be here admit all of you for the 7th convocation of Reva University. I feel really happy to be admit you all today this youngsters bubbling with enthusiasm dynamism devotion dedication all in one my dear youngsters the convocation marks a milestone itself it assumes added significance in view of the fact that it coincides with the ongoing aajadi ka amrita mahotsav 75 years of our independence from the colonial rule i am sure the university has been playing a proactive part in celebrating aajadi ka amrita mahotsav in a befitting manner it is rightly said that education is the most powerful agent of change which can fast track the development of any nation therefore the future of the nation in terms of development in all spheres hinges on the role of youth in this context the role of education becomes critical in shaping the future of our nation my dear friends india is on the move education should be treated as a mission do not expect any commission do any remission or do any omission no remission no omission no commission only passion for the sake of the nation passion for the sake of the nation we want to bring build a strong stable prosperous peaceful india india was once upon a time as known as vishwa guru nananda takshashila pushpagiri vikramsile these are the places of knowledge and students from across the globe they used to come and study here and go back we used to be knowledge givers but unfortunately because of the colonial rule the britishers came they ruled us they ruined us they cheated us they looted us and they looted some of our minds also so i call upon the countrymen particularly the younger generation sooner the better we come out of the colonial mindset we are an independent nation we should have our own real history we should have the life and teachings and preachings of the great leaders of the country the present history textbooks till recently were full of british influence robert clive the great alexander the great but kittur rani chennamma not great that was not mentioned krishna devaraya was not mentioned veera pandey kattabamman not mentioned allur sitarama raju was not mentioned so we must really go for indianization of education we must really tell our children the great things done by our forefathers the heritage 
the culture that is given by our forefathers, we must protect, promote, and propagate our culture and heritage. Adi Karoninchi, Veda Karoninchi, Punya Karoninchi, Purana Karoninchi, Manapur Vigul, Anubavinchi, Rangarinchi, Malavinchi, Manakandichan, Varsatwe Tondo, Bharatiata, Dani Kapad Kosum. It is our bounden duty to protect the culture, to protect the heritage, to propagate the same, and then move on. My dear youngsters, India is already on the move. By 2027 or maximum 2030, it is said India will be the third largest economy in the world. And then finally, be disciplined. Hard work, discipline, an amount of exercise, and then good food habits will make you strong, stable, and prosperous people to make a prosperous nation. On the occasion of this pious university convocation, so Guru is very important. Respect the Gurus. Taking care of the water bodies, taking care of the sunlight, taking care of the greenery is our duty. Taking care of our campuses, it is not the duty of management alone, it is our duty also. We are not doing it for favor of anybody, we are doing it for ourselves. So keep that in mind, nature, culture, together for a bright future. You can, make, you can become strong and you can make India strong. I wish you all the best. God bless you for a bright, happy, prosperous future. Namaste, Dhanyavad, thank you. Deva Vishwa Vidyalaya Bengaluru ke Satve Dikshan Samaro me Manch par upasthit Bharat ke Purvo Uparatrapati Adarani Shri M. Minkaya Naidu ji Deva Vishwa Vidyalaya ke Chancellor Dr. P. Shyam Raju ji Pri Vidyarthi भाई और बहनों हेल्ला रिगु नमस्कार निम्मेलनु हार्दिक वागी स्वागती सुत्ते ने आज इस संस्थान के सेकड़ों चात्र चात्राओं को डिग्री प्रदान की गई मैं आप उपाधि प्राप्त करने वाले सभी चात्र चात्राओं को बधाई एवं शुभकामनाएं देता हूं और इनके उज्जवल भविष्य की कामना करता हूं शेष विद्यार्थी जनों से अपील करता हूं कि वो भी उत्कृष्ट पढ़ाई करके गोल्ड मेडल प्राप्त करें इस संस्थान का नाम गौरवान्वित करें मुझे विश्वास है कि इस विश्वविद्यालय से प्राप्त शिक्षा आपके करियर को सफल बनाने तथा जीवन पथ पर आगे बढ़ने में सहायक सिद्ध होगी मुझे विश्वास है कि आप सभी देश को सर्वोपरि मानकर काम करेंगे और अपने अपने क्षेत्रों में सफल होंगे तथा अपने इस विश्वविद्यालय और देश का नाम गौरवान्वित करेंगे मेरे पूर्व मेरे अग्रज आदरणीय वेंकैया नायडू जी ने विस्तार से बहुत सारे विषयों का उल्लेख किया है मैं ज़्यादा नहीं बोलते हुए अपनी शुभकामनाएं अर्पित करता हूं आप सबको और मेरी बात समाप्त करता हूं धन्यवाद जय हिंद जय भारत नोड़ा वीक्षक रेवा यूनिवर्सिटी ऐटिकोत्सव वर्ण रंजित कार्यक्रम